to Minecraft Ad again with me, Paul McJay. Now, today we are building Mark II of my laser door. Uh, the main difference with this one is we are using particle commands to run the lasers rather than beacons and uh, different sort of execute commands. It's a bit more of a technical build than the last one, but a lot less fiddlier. So let's get into it. Let's go into our settings, make sure that the following uh, are on for this to work. So we just need to make sure that uh, coordinates are on and also that command blocks are enabled and sheets are activated. So let's give ourselves a command block first of all. Uh, put ourselves into survival so I can show you how this works. So I'll just switch it off quickly. So if we go through there, nothing will happen. But if we stick, if we push this lever down, and the lasers are running, and if we walk through, we are instantly killed. So I'm just going to show you how you build this quickly. So we're going to get three observer blocks, stack them up by three. And we're just going to have a four space, uh, four spacing across, and put another uh, three observer blocks. And between those two observer blocks, we're just going to dig down by two. All right, I'm just going to get some powered rails. I'll just create a little track. going to get a redstone, uh, well I put a minecart down and I'm just going to get a redstone block, uh, put it in there so it powers the the rail and then we've got that minecart going back and forth which is going to be very important later on. So I'm just going to quickly uh, build a little uh, area, uh, just going to dig down to here and four across, I think. Uh, this is where we're going to place our command blocks. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Just under there as well. And there as well. Right, so let's place our command blocks down. Two, three, four. Just going to put some redstone on top of these. And we're also just going to change them all to uh, need to restore and to repeat. So I'm just going to stick the first command in. So it's an execute command. So we're going to put forward slash execute. And then at. And then at entity uh, square bracket uh, type equals minecart close square bracket and we're going to put uh, run and then we're going to put a forward slash particle command uh, particle and I think the type of particle we're going to use is an obsidian glow dust command so let's put obsidian underscore Uh, glow underscore dust underscore particle. Then we're going to put the uh, following coordinates in. So we're going to put these uh, leaks in, and I think we're going to put 2.5. Now we're going to put a lever, push that down, and it's going to spawn those uh, particles wherever the minecart is moving back and forth. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's switch that off. So there we are. Just go for the command. So it's an execute. It was executing at the entity, which is a minecart, and then it's running that particle command. 
So this is how it works essentially. Let's go show you that command again. Put a different part of the block in there just to show you how versatile this is. So we're going to create a little hit emitter. So if we put a minecart in here, like before, let's run the commands. And now we're going to create the hit uh, emitter particle moving back and forth. You can use pretty much any command you want in this, but for this video, we are using uh, that particular particle to act as a laser. So let's put uh, another particle in here, for example, a lava particle. And look, there we are. Quite cool. All right, let's turn that off. Right, so back to it. I'm just going to cover this area up now. We don't need to see under there anymore. And I'm just going to put in the rest of the commands. It's going to be pretty much the same, apart from one slight difference. So we, instead of 2.5, we're going to change that to 3.5. So it's going to spawn that uh, 3.5 above on the a on the y-axis. So let's get out of that one. Now we get 3.5. So when we run that again, it should be one above that again. So we've got two rows running now. Turn that off. In this third command. We are going to put the same command in there again, but it's going to be 4.5 this time. So when we run this again, here we are, we've got three rows running now. Now there's one final command to do, and which is going to be our, our kill command or instant damage command. Let's turn that back. But we need our coordinates as well. First of all, so my coordinates are 2, 3, 3, 4, uh, 8, 70. So that we're going to be inputting it into this last command block. And of course yours may be different depending on your build. So let's go into there. Now this is the command, it is forward slash uh, effect at player and this is where we're going to put our x and y coordinates in so we need a square bracket and then x equals uh, 2, 3, 3, my y coordinate was uh, 4 put that in and my Z coordinate which is 8708708728782 and then we're going to put a radius uh, command in so R equals 1. It's going to check for that command in a radius of 1 and then instant underscore damage One and then one and then two five five. So I'm just gonna build a hidden lever out here so we can switch the thing on and off. You can hide this if you want to, but just for the simplicity of this video, I'm just gonna extend it out so we've got this lever outside. So I'm just gonna run a bit of redstone dust uh, into a repeater. Let's build a lever on top, just for ease. There we are. We can switch it on and off now. There we go. Now I'm just going to put myself back in the survival and show you how this works. I've put a roof on top as well. Let's switch it on and dead. 
over. That's it for this video. If you like, hit like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time. Ciao for now.